Debería estudiar, pero tengo ganas de ver las chicas del cable. I think I was standing next to like some Christmas like foliage. Yet another new year approaches on the horizon. And a trend that you feel tried out and tired does not. New year comes along, everyone gets up in arms in celebration, in time to rejoice over a new era. And it's during this time that a lot of people tend to feel introspective, reflective, and look back on the year they just had. <laughs> yeah, wait, look. That was, that's a pretty good one. Now, personally, if I'm not out with friends or family on New Year's, like if I'm on my own, I'll tend to play Animal Crossing. Just a little tradition, brings me down the earth. It's somber, makes me feel a little cozy on a cold Midwestern winter. What's up? Nice. It's a video now. Oh god. <laughs> Regardless, I'll play Animal Crossing, talk with the villagers, and just enter in the new year on my own with friends. Oh my gosh. So did we find one? What? Or at least it feels like I'm entering in with friends and where it's a video game. But it's nice to enter in the new year with care about it, and you can't always do that. You're dead now. <laughs> Still though, I, I really like these New Year's a lot. The New Year's where I do just sit down and play Animal Crossing. I really get to be alone with my thoughts. I get to look back on all of it, you know, see what I've done. In most years, there's this feeling of anxiety that I didn't do enough. And you know what? That's a pretty common feeling to feel on New Year's. It's not an exclusively me thing. However, this year, I feel like I did do the things that I wanted. Could have done more, but for the first time, I've done the things I want to do instead of nothing. Still, it's hard not to feel anxious even about that. You could have done more. You could have done things better. These are all feelings that always naturally happen around New Year's for a lot of people. Maybe not everyone. That's that's not my place to say. Space sphere is like the best sphere. What about you? How did your New Year go? Did you make the strides you wanted to make? Did you make the mistakes you didn't want to make? Oh, it's all relevant anyways. It's a new year. You should be taking it easy a little bit. This is the victory lap where you get to relax for just a moment and breathe. Or maybe slightly after the holidays. Whatever is more personally comfortable to you. For me, it is probably January 2nd because I can just relax. So, he gets out and starts going for a while. Decides to take a lap. December has been a pretty busy month for me. November was a pretty busy month for me. October was a pretty busy month for me. This year was a pretty busy month for me. And I don't feel like it's gonna get any more lax going forward. But hey, that's moving forward. I've been doing nothing for too long to be comfortable with another year of I could have done more. But on that same branch, again, it could feel nice to have a year where you're like, I just relaxed. I just, I got to relax, explore some things, and experience something new. And while it didn't actively push me further in my life goals or career, it brought me some inner peace. Ultimately, that's all the New Year's introspective is. Gauging where you are and placing yourself firmly down. An anchoring point for you to look around that echo chamber you found yourself in and see the writing on the walls. Is it good writing? Is it bad writing? Is it nonsense? Is it philosophical waxing? Like a nitwit on YouTube. Whatever it is, that's New Year's for me. Which is why, again, 
all those thoughts racing in my head, I find a really nice comfort in Animal Crossing. Because if, even if I can't be with my friends and family, <laughs> I can get something that feels similar. I, for a little bit, I can just cozy up in the blankets and walk around this town that I've been playing in for years that my brother and sister also played in and it's it's a very similar feeling to whatever the opposite of homesick is Happy New Year's! <laughs> oh gosh. I would have to say, out of all the years I've lived, this one was probably my favorite.